afternoon and welcome to Seavers and Bells. Um, we've been doing a couple of lessons over the last week about different things you can do outdoors and today we are going to do something called a sound map. So a sound map is super fun. You just need a scratch piece of paper and a nice surface to write on. I like to make mine colorful um, because when I think about it, sounds sometimes kind of have color. You think about that high shrill of a of a small bird, you might do something that's a bright pink or bright blue, whatever comes to you. So all you need is a nice scratch piece of paper. I usually put an X in the middle of it so that I can mark myself, figure out where I am. And then you wanna be really quiet and listen to the sounds around you. So we've got a couple of different birds. Not sure if the microphone's picking it up or not, but we'll find out. And it's fun to do this. You can even do this in your backyard and thinking about, are you hearing bugs? Are you hearing birds? Are you hearing frogs? Are you hearing road noise? So to think, talking about some of the noise that we as humans create. So I've got one bird that's back here behind me. And if you know what it is, you can write the name of it. Or if you want to just write the sound that it's making, or if it's making a pattern, you can draw the pattern. Whatever works for you to help remember what sounds you're hearing around you. So you can do this for 10, 15 minutes. If you want to do it for longer, the longer you can sit quietly, the more sounds you'll get to hear. So the more you'll be able to fill in your map. So take some time over the next couple days and see if you can make different sound maps, even at different times of day. Do you hear different sounds in the morning than you might hear in the afternoon? Thank you for exploring with us and get out and do some mapping sound.